Hello everybody and welcome back to today's video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new video between a 2024 election prediction between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump in rematch of 2016. So without further ado, let's get right into today's video. For Hillary Clinton, safe states, California, Hawaii, New York, Massachusetts, Vermont, the District of Columbia, and Maryland, bringing her to 113 electoral votes. While for Donald Trump, his safe states will bring him to a total of 125 electoral votes, which is 12 above Hillary Clinton. Most of these states were safe for him in both 2016 and 2020, although I do they include the states of Alaska and South Carolina. As for likely states for Hillary Clinton, most of these were likely states for her in 2016, but most of them were safe states for, the, for Joe Biden in 2020. In fact, I think all of them were for Joe Biden, and the st only the states of Illinois and Washington were safe for Hillary Clinton in 2016. So that wraps up the map and 181 for Hillary Clinton. Donald Trump has his safe states that will surplus surpass Hillary Clinton at 235 electoral votes, winning every single state he won in 2020, with an additional three electoral votes due to the census. Really, all these electoral votes were likely for him in 2020, except Florida and North Carolina, as well as that in 2016 as well. Florida is trending right with the Hispanic population, and I think that will go to him by likely margin, especially against Hillary Clinton. North Carolina went to Trump in 2016 by 3.5 points. It was nearer in 2020, but that's because, generally speaking, Hillary Clinton was a worse candidate. Any national environment factor, I think Hillary Clinton will lose the popular vote, which is, I think the most likely scenario. So this is going to be the map here. Well, for Hillary Clinton, so these are states I'm pretty sure will go to both parties that go to go to elite states. More competitive, but I think it's still fair to say that both of these parties will win these states. For Hillary Clinton, those states are the states of Colorado and Virginia, both of them going to lean for Hillary Clinton. Both of them were likely for Biden and um and Pretty good margins for Hillary Clinton. I think they will actually be narrower for him in 2016, 2024 than 2016 because of the national environment, though these states are trending Democrat. In the leading states for Donald Trump, those states include the Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Georgia, Arizona, and Nevada, and Nebraska's 2nd Congressional District. That's a lot of states, but why? Well... Let's simply put it this way. Hillary Clinton's not a good nominee. He doesn't have the white working class losing her to three states. And the national environment, not so good for her. As I expect Biden's approval rating to dip below 40% in this election. In the states of Nevada and Arizona, these states, the state of Nevada, Hillary Clinton did win in 2016. That being said, it's a more Hispanic state. The, the Hispanics are trending Republican, and I think that state will trend Republican as well. Arizona's trending Democrat. That being said, Hillary Clinton is not the candidate to appeal to them. In the state of Georgia, there will be no black women or black men on the ballot. So, really, Georgia going to be lean for, Hillary, um, for Donald Trump. Confined tilt states are the states I'm not very confident in. It could go either way. Those states are New Hampshire tilt for Donald Trump. Um, Hillary Clinton will win the state of New Mexico. Um, Donald Trump will win the state of Minnesota. And the most competitive state probably remains at large vote. Again, Minnesota and New Hampshire here. Both of these states more. Um, um, both of these states more Democratic leaning, but I think. With Hillary Clinton on the ballot, Hillary Clinton will not do too well. Actually, New Hampshire, I'd give it as a lean for Hillary Clinton. For Donald Trump, as for Minnesota, it's a tilt state because the suburbs around Minnesota is trending Democrat pretty rapidly. So, yeah, they don't really like Trump either. The state of New Mexico, New Mexico, very oil state, does probably don't like Hillary Clinton that much. He, she could have some success, but yeah, not going to do too well in the state. Means at large, I'm still deciding. I guess I'll give it as a slight tote towards Donald Trump as Hillary Clinton only won the state by 2.5 points in 2016, I believe. 
which should make that main second should be safe in this scenario for Donald Trump to win mains at large vote. So this is the final electoral map. This seems a little bit more conservative, but given the national environment, this is how I will put it as some changes from the my last prediction of Hillary Clinton vs. Donald Trump about 50 days ago. So check out that video on your screen right now. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. And I'll see you guys all tomorrow or in the next video. Bye.